Hello sir, how may I help you? I bought this tie about a week ago for work and I really need a good tie. Well, that's a perfectly good looking tie to me. What seems to be the problem? I think I need to take it back and exchange it or something because, well, one side's way too short. Too short on one end. Well, that's hogswash. You just need to learn how to tie a tie. So let's learn. Oh no! On a tree. I'm just sitting. Go. Here. Assuming you're gonna tie it on a nice flannel or woven cotton shirt with buttons because that's usually what happens in an office. You wear a nice button-down shirt. Unless you just want to go shirtless with a tie, then uh, go ahead, Chippendale. Don't think use bow ties. First thing you want to do is lift up your shirt collar. And make sure the very top button is choking you to death. It's nice and tight. So, then you want to place the tie, grab it around the middle third, so the other two sides are hanging at an equal length opposite each other. Then put it around your neck. All right, so you want the fat side or the wide side to hang about twice as long as the skinny side or the narrow side. And once that's all squared away, you want to take the fat side, I'm not gonna call it fat, skinny, the wide side, wrap it around the narrow side twice. So this is once, crisscross once, then hold the narrow side stationary, um, ideally vertical to your body, and twice again. Now after the second time you wrap it around, instead of doing it a third time, you're gonna push it through the loop made around your neck. Oh no! Now the wide end is sitting over the narrow end comfortably like that, but you have another loop that you want to pass it through. So the loop that's made right under the wide end here, right after you passed it through the loop around your neck, there's a loop that you want it to go through. Lead it through that loop like so, like so, like this is so formal. And then pull the tie tight right around your neck, like that. And then the underside should go underneath. Most neckties will have a loop or a branded uh, tag that you can loop it through. So fasten it through there. And I recommend fastening it yet again with a paper clip or some kind of a pin, bobby pin would work. All right, there you go. Straighten it out a little bit. Get any crease out that you're not happy with. And I'm done. Wait! Hold your collar down like this. And if you have buttons and it's not a stayed collar, put the buttons through the buttonholes on your collar and bloop. You're ready to go. This is a basic Windsor knot. Now there are Trinity knots, elder knots, where the loops get wrapped around diagonally and you have several creases and it looks like a nice piece of origami around your neck. But for the most part, people just want to go to work with a nice basic upside down triangle shape by their front collar. You don't need a holy trinity. Unless you want to be that kind of fancy schmancy, go for it. However, for the most part, Windsor knots will suffice just fine. There you go. I made this video because several people in my life recently um, said they don't know how to make a tie. 
Apparently, I don't know how to untie a tie. <laughs> I was teaching them how to make it, and they, they are accountants. One was a lawyer. It's like, all right, you know, it's a good thing you have a wife and a girlfriend or something, or a significant other that ties a tie for you, because uh, you're useless. Now, I'm gonna have them watch this video, and then they're gonna be like, oh, that's how you tie a tie. Hopefully they don't go to the store like you saw at the beginning of the video and say one side's too long. There you go, folks. The winds are not. Thanks for watching another video with Not A Problem. My name's Not Punch on Tom Abbott. Live simply, be courageous, and make sure to keep your tie on. Oh, hey, oh, go on ahead, after you. What? No, no, you go first. No, I insist after you, after you. No, I insist, go on ahead. Okay, what are you gonna do? Ah, uh, you know me, I'm just gonna hang around. <laughs>